So what's the process? So the grapes are going to start coming in pretty soon. Yep. So then the uh, the buckets, once they're full, as you fill them, then you're going to go down with the ATV and pick them up and bring yeah. them up and, and, and pick up uh -huh. and dump them and uh, and it's just back and forth all day. Yeah. Well, we should be done here by noon. Uh huh. Okay. Dave, you want to help me set up the crusher to stammer? Yeah. Okay. Very good. So how old are these vines? These are the third leaf. First, first year of real production. Oh, right on. Excellent. Now, some people say the third year is the best one for Grenache. <laughs> really? It looks like amazing, supposedly. Uh -huh. it's, it's been great. We were, we've got a really good uh, sugar content and we've got good pH on these right now. Mm -hmm. you, now, when these are full, you just leave them, okay? Mm -hmm. just leave it up, leave it. Yes, we come by and pick them up. Yeah. So, you're going to come in here. Yep. You're going to go like this. You try to avoid as much green as you can, so you get really close to the cluster like that. Okay. No leaves. Okay. Zero leaves. Don't be afraid to taste them. Okay. Try one. You'll see how sweet they are. Mmm. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That's great. Check the pH in the bricks, and it was really excellent. Mm -hmm. It's gone up. It's gone up relatively slowly. I see a leaf in there. <laughs> some music. What are you gonna put on? I gotta, I'm gonna put my laptop, I got a classical Spanish guitar, that sort of stuff. So have you ever picked grapes before? No, no. but no. I think we could uh, start a winery. Excellent. Maybe tomorrow I look for Len. Where would you <laughs> plant the grapes? Uh, in uh, Pacific Heights, San Francisco. Okay. <laughs> they have slopes, I've seen <laughs> them. <laughs> Show me that gnarly knife. It's a beautiful process. And just feeling the grapes, the smelling, the the scent, and seeing the colors. They're also vibrant and alive. I don't know what I'm going to make this year with the Grenache and the Mouvedre and the Syrah. So I may end up blending it with some Cav or maybe do a standalone GSM or something. I don't know. Typically, you ferment them separately, but unless you make a field blend and then you ferment them together. Well, you just pick different varietals and throw them in the bin and they ferment together, co-ferment. So when you're picking, you don't have to worry about being in contact with any chemicals or anything. It's all natural. This is kind of unique to see this on, on a small scale with just basically one small winemaker uh, making four or five hundred cases of wine with some friends coming over like like you know more old world style. You know we don't have a, a hired crew or anything. We're just all getting together and, and making it happen. We make very select wines. I make a wine called Mojo. It's a, a blend. I've also made a wine I call Garnet Syrah, which is a straight Syrah. And now we're making a Cabernet. It smells amazing. I say whatever's left, we put in a gallon jug. We just fill up a couple of gallon jugs and drink them today. Yes, this <laughs> smells good. <laughs> Domaine Dagers are all done on a very small four acre vineyard in Pastor Robles AVA on the northwest side. Everything's head trained and organic. Got Mojo, 